Hi and welcome back to our solve of this epic game. It's the Unlock Game Adventures box and it's the Pandemic game in particular. Mm -hmm. And this is our second video because we have, well, our previous video got to about an hour or so long. Yeah. And we decided it was time to take a break, both for you and for us. It's a beast. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, there we go. We're going to carry on now from that solve. So if you haven't yeah. already seen that existing solve, you can watch this video. I think it will be make a certain amount of sense just on its own. But uh, because we do try and explain everything as we go. But there was definitely some references back to things in the previous video. Yeah, and cards and bits of tech that we need to use in the first bit. So I think definitely go and watch the first video if, yeah, you, if haven't you haven't already. Yeah, if you haven't already, yes. That's actually good advice, isn't it? But for now, let's carry on with the solve. Absolutely. Here we go. So what do we do now? So now what? Because now we don't really have an objective, do we? Well, to we, cure the, we need to find and cure the red, the red yeah. disease. Yeah, but as in we don't have anything. Cities. There's nothing saying to us... Well, actually, they are all the same variant because they're all the same cube. In the game, you get different coloured cubes, different coloured, different variants. Oh, really? Mm. Um, right. So we can scan some more blue cities. Yeah, what are we meant to be doing now? So we've got this, and it is a blue card. Mm -hmm. Should we? I don't think it's necessarily correct. But should we try see if we can give it to the? What would that give us? I'd... Ninety. Yeah. We have a ninety. What does it say? Ooh. Yeah, I think that's just coincidence. Wait, that can't be coincidence. Did we add that correctly? 68. These are both blue and red cards. 68. That's right, isn't it? I'm not going mad. That is right, but why would we have... The game knows that you can combine red and blue cards, so this is a mistake. But let's put that back, and I have no clue what to do next. No, but... I don't know what to do next. Um, right, so let's look at the cards we've got left. I've got quite a lot of cards 57 70 71 I've got 79 loads of cards as 90, well. 93 94 how many cards are you we'll show them on camera oh, i've got absolutely loads four. we go from 3 to 48 and we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 oh. 10 11 cards and we in theory have run out of time so yes that doesn't very there's well there's a lot of it? story left yes and well, I mean, to be fair, we are doing a lot of talking, a lot of explaining. We are, it's true. And also the computer crashed at one point and we had it to did. stop it. That's true. And Ken, so the time went down quite a while without us doing anything useful. But, putting that aside... Um, so I know the kind of super objective here is to inoculate station. everyone. But I don't know what our sort of mini... Mini oh, well, let's give it to us. the medic is 67, so we can't give him this because the number's too high. Because over 100, high. yeah, we, try, we thought about that before. These are not red cards. Scientist, I don't think we need her again at the moment because we've not got a sample to give her. Should we take a hint on this blue variant? Because even though we've... I don't think it will say anything. Other than... I think we've already. I think it will say there's no hint, but we can try it. Hint sixty-eight. Oh. In addition to inoculating this remedy according to protocol eighty-seven, what was eighty-seven? This one here. That's oh, yeah. the inoculation just this protocol. That tells us we can go. So it was a hit. Remember where the sample of the blue variant came from. See, I tried this with the yellow. When we had the yellow one, I tried inoculating places that it had been and it didn't help. But so I didn't even think of trying it again. Again, but I should have done. So we need to go, presumably, go back to Essen, where it was gathered, and inoculate there. Do you think? I don't know. There's a lot of remembering where you've been in this game. <laughs> Hoping to get hold of Graham Cook. You fly over to Essen. No, we've that's done that's that. that's just the app knows we've done that. Why is it giving us the same prompt again? The thing is, even if we wanted a hint now, I don't even know what we'd be taking a hint on. Six was Graham Cook, right? And we yeah, six was this card. We've done that. Yeah. We've all done all that already. Um, where else can we inoculate with blue that we've been? That's what the hint just said, right? I said, remember where it came from. Oh, well, it's in one of the yellow areas as well. We caught him in Miami and he didn't respond. Is that right? Am I confused? Where did he get to Essen? How did he get to Essen? Where did he fly from? Miami. Okay. And where else has he been? He's been in Hong Kong, right? Wait, how did we get to Essen? I can't remember. Why is Hong Kong not on the list? Oh, those are K's. I was looking at the K's for cartoon thinking oh, those wow, are H's. Yeah, they do look very similar, don't they? Hong Kong. Okay, so what was your question? How did we get to Essen? We flew across from Miami. That's where we tracked the thin to the flight over. No, that was to Istanbul. Oh, well, then here we go. Let's that try was the Istanbul. flight. Well, let's try Istanbul. But we didn't land there. No, it's what I'm saying. We tracked the flight to Istanbul and then it. Oh, and then Essen was the one that was only three connections between. Yes, between all the different thins. 
when she was that was just a clue it wasn't anything to do with the flight i mean should we try inoculating london oh yes okay i mean but, i mean it says london no. you have nothing to do for the time being well 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 I, mean, I just think i think i did select london i'll just check it well he's been to hong kong he's been to where else has he been he's been to hong kong he's been to did he, did he land over here yeah, I think he went this way, didn't he? And then he went up and then he ended up in Miami there. Yeah, let's assume it's places he stopped. Mm. Did he go to any of the blue cities? I mean, we can try inoculating London and Khartoum. It doesn't follow the inoculation protocol. London we just tried, didn't we? And yeah, it's so nothing Khartoum, doing. sorry, Khartoum. You can't see because I didn't put it on the screen, but it says you have nothing to do for the time being. Presumably in Khartoum, not just anywhere. I really don't know what we're meant to be doing now. No. <laughs> um, let's take that hint again. So hint for card 68. And it said, in addition to inoculating the remedy according to protocol 87, which is what we've done, remember where the sample of the blue variant came from. It came from the... It came from Essen. Yeah, and he, had, and he got the decoder disc, which it says may have been the original infection. And there was no justification for that, which he was in London. Or was it Atlanta? No, it was in London, it the port London, of London. His flat. His flat in London. We've tried. Should we go for the solution on this? I'd forgotten that we could look for the solution. Yeah. Okay. The blue cure must be inoculated between the cities infected with the blue variant, London and Khartoum. Use the dedicated button to go to Algiers and scan the kiosk. We've done that. Also, that, remember that the research scientist manager was infected with the blue variant to treat him with the blue cure. Oh, oh. That's what we couldn't remember. That hint was not very clear. No, I don't want to leave the game. That was not what I meant to do. Do you want to leave the game? No. no. So, but, we need to combine it with our scientist manager that we had abandoned somewhere in St. Petersburg. Okay. So, wait. I think I need to go through the previous cards. So, there's so many cards. There we go. With we haven't him. actually got rid of him yet. I'm not absolutely sure why we're... Giving him... Well, he had a cure that didn't respond to the yellow one. Oh, right. And so there's no reason why he has the blue cure in particular, but, I mean, there's no harm, I suppose, in inoculating well, him with it. It's clearly okay. what you're meant to do. <laughs> 88, 94, yes? Yes. The 88 was me adding up. Still lots of cards to go. I know. The search scientist manager. Oh, guys, how would you feel better? Let's not waste time. The teams are ready to develop the red cure. We have received the sequence. Sequencer, 70. 70. Does that and sound the like stars, 26. Well, well, well. I still feel like I've got loads of cards. Ooh, what are you, a machine? DNA sequencer. And it is a machine. Shall we access it? Yeah, let's see. See what it does for us. 70. Oh, it's a scanner. Please scan. Ooh. And it's an actual scan. Let's rotate that. Please scan the DNA. Where's the DNA? No, oh, we don't have any DNA, do we? His DNA, maybe. Wait, do we have a, a tray with it on originally? Or do we have a sample? Yeah, I think the problem here is there's so many cards and I've been taken off camera that... Should we try that? That was the blue sample, Yeah, that's it? a sample from him, right? Yeah. For sure. So I think the problem is there were so many cards, I was moving them off screen, it made it harder for us because we weren't seeing them. That's, that's not actually, which means when you have a scan of DNA, that's not actually DNA, that's just a blood sample. Is it meant to be the, well DNA is, that, that means definitely not the molecule we had before, that wasn't a helix no. of sort. I need to tap the screen, no? If we, um, if you isolate it against the black background, I know that worked before, just to definitely rule that out. But I'm sure we did this before. Okay, so that's not doing anything. So what other cards do we have? have we anything got? else that looks like DNA? We've got rid of our molecule sample. But Mysterious white powder is not DNA. I'll scan it anyway. Let's see what it does. I mean, everything it may have DNA in it. I suppose that's my finger. <laughs> if we come all the way out, so it lines up with the. Nope, not working. Not a sausage. What other cards have we got? We've got these. No, that's not going to help. We don't uh, have any DNA. No, we've discarded the part we've got him, but we've discarded. So I've got a massive stack here of cards we've just been told to discard, like him. We were told to discard him. Here. 
discard 26. Yeah. So I presume it's nothing... And we were told to discard these cards as well, 77 and 42. We were told to discard them by something or other, I think. I mean, I can try scanning them. Yeah, it says here get rid of 77 and 42. So we have been told to get rid of oh, them. Oh, right, OK. So we don't need them. So I please, feel like we're one step behind now. You know, when I said that we were doing so well early on. What does it mean, scan DNA? I spoke too soon. What DNA? Is there... Maybe it's the... Is there anything that it, looks it, like is DNA? It, is it this, perhaps? I, oh, I just moved all the... I don't know where that was. I don't think it's this. Let's do the waggle, the, the camera everywhere game. Yes, that's a good game. It's worked quite well for us before. Is there anything that looks like DNA? I'm just going to have a look on the back oh, yeah, of like some of my helix cards. Or on the backs of the cards, you've got different. Oh, right. But I don't know if they're. Oh, well, let's scan that on the, the back same. of him. Let's scan the back of Shall him. We see? Yeah, who knows? Let's have a go. They look to all be pretty much the same. If you just line it up like that, maybe zoom out a bit. That does look matches the oh, circle. Oh, it does. The circle exactly matches yeah. the middle of the card, doesn't it? I think you're right. We're scanning the back of a card. I'll try and tap in it in case it does anything. I mean, it is upside down on the screen, but it does look the right way up on my phone. Let's try this way up. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's going to match the card. That's a very good observation. So we're scanning the back of something. So is there... I'm just going to have a look and see if there's anything else. Oh, maybe there's a card which has DNA on the back of it. Which looks different to the rest. Maybe. I'm just having a look through my cards. They all look pretty similar to me. Sometimes in these games you have to take the cards based on what's on the back of them. These all look, the ones I have here, and then you can't quite see, but they all look identical. Mm, so However, I'm sure we're scanning the back of a card now. You've pointed it out, it matches it. What about the back of this card? Is there anything different on here? Yeah, about the cards no, we've already... the same. About the cards we've already pulled, but haven't been told to discard. It'd be great if one of them just said DNA in big letters on the back, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's not those. Hmm, I well, thought we were onto something there because it really does match up with the circle. We are onto something, I'm sure of it. It's got to be on the back of Things one of these on the cards. Back. What did we just try and scan the back of multiple times? The, um, the, the, the inoculation cure, which doesn't make much sense, but it was the thing maybe to try and. Well, that's the map of him flying. I don't think we need that anymore, surely. Should we try? And then we have the, uh, the cards we've given here. None of these people are infected, though, are they? As far as we know. As so. far as we know. Right, OK. <gasps> so we just took a break to have a cup of tea and we stuff. We had an right? emergency yeah. cup of tea because so it was I, all <laughs> getting on top of us. Yeah, I really should have paused the timer, though. So I think what, we, what we're missing is a sample of the, the red virus, right? So how yeah. can we get a sample of the red virus? So he's not, he doesn't have the red virus, does he? No, because we've just inoculated yeah. him so he had the with the blue. blue virus. So who's the red virus? It's in Hong is Kong. Is the only place we've been in Hong Kong. Maybe we were, are they all wearing? There's meant to be a patient in the Z, patient zero in the city on this card. If we match our medic sampler. Yeah. Scientist. Thirty-two so, and sixteen. It's forty-eight, right? And I've got a card forty-eight right here. Okay. 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 I feel good about this. Yeah, that's actually. This positive. feels like it's going to be manageable. Ooh. -hoo -hoo! Ooh, and just like that. There we go. Sample number three, red variant, Hong Kong. Okay. Right. Shall we scan? I've forgotten what we're doing. It? Now. This game is so taken so lot much of my life. Though. I feel like what we've struggled with here is that we haven't had a really obvious objective. I mean, I know the super objective is to get all of the it's not inoculations, step by step. It's, but it's not because yeah. there's been some there's bits where it's like you've got to find out. this guy, he's yeah. here, this, 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 and so on. So we scan that with the microscope. Is there anything on the back of here that's exciting or interesting in any way that might work? Not especially. Should we try scanning that with our... Microscope, yeah? Oh, yeah. I was thinking our DNA sequencer. Is this what we did before? Scanning stuff? Do you in... have to do it with the zoom? Do you have to press the No, zoom? it recognises the card, then you zoom in. 
Um, That's what's happened before. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, just a bit delayed. Just had Looking to hover for a bit longer. It's definitely red. Oh, 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 what's that in the top right? Oh, goodness. What does it say? If we zoom in further, it might... Um... Oh, hello. Oh, 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 that looks like it's meant to be a DNA sequence. It does. How on earth? Oh. Well, we should use the infrared filter. What's an infrared filter? We should, but what is it? I mean, that's obviously saying that we should ignore the red and read the blue. But I don't oh understand. Boy. We don't have an infrared filter unless it refers, refers to these cubes. If I put the cubes on it, can you read it? Oh, my goodness. Yes. <gasps> You're supposed to you put the cubes... You can't see that on camera, but I want to know no, what's going on here. Let's zoom in. So you put, we're putting the, this is, <laughs> we're putting the physically putting cubes on it to read it, aren't we? Are we? Don't you think? I don't know. Let's have a look. Does it say anything? I feel that must be right. Yeah, there we go. Now it says squiggle. I mean, I've got no idea what that's meant to be. But surely there seems to be a lot of arrows, but to me, on the... Then the sort of middle zoomed out bit there, that looked like a string of DNA. Do you see? Oh, it's definitely meant to be... Yeah, I feel it is meant to approximate a string of DNA. Oh, yeah, we know. Thank you. But what do you mean? I thought it meant that. And I thought that was a really clever idea. Yeah, I still think it's a really clever idea, but I'm not sure... Because why have we got the cubes anyway? You don't really need them for the story otherwise. If we, um, if we zoom back out a little bit and still keep the red cubes. Do we learn anything there? If we go to um, the sort of third... No. No. It feels like that must be right. Is that a four at the bottom? That does seem important. Or, I mean, There's arrows. a four at the bottom, I think. Is there? Yeah. How are we reading this? Let's just pop that there. There we go. There's a four in the middle there, and all the arrows, there's a loads of arrows, yeah. the arrows are pointing into things, that's a four there. It's actually much harder to read on camera if you look directly at my phone. Is it just four? It's just a four, we're supposed we to have, take a four. We've it's got a card four. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, wow. Good job. That's a nice okay. puzzle. There's some lovely yeah, puzzles Yeah, that was really good. There's that just was a lot cool. of them. <laughs> Let's zoom out. Oh, okay, we'll that's card four, that. and it says get rid of card 48, which was... Our sample that we worked so hard to find. Which was 48. It's just off the screen there. Oh, here, right. Okay, so we can say goodbye to that. And this says, a DNA sample of the red virus. We need a sequencer. Oh, well, we have okay, one of those. Okay, we're on a roll here, I think, now. So that's card uh, don't, don't 70. I know, I did that before, didn't I? Yeah, well, 70 is the... 70, 70 is, is our DNA clear, sequencer. Is the DNA sequencer, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now we have to scan oh, this. And that's what that the circle's is a circle. for. Yeah, that's what the circle's for, right? Okay. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have we done? Oh, it just did it, I think, without me even... It just Oh, wow. I think it detected it without me even meaning, nice. meaning to scan it. One red variant scanned. Yellow variant download. Oh, no, I seem to have taken a hint. Oh, no, this is a machine? Oh, it does say hint. No, oh, it's the, press the button. It's not lit up, though. Oh. It's quite confusing because yeah. it didn't make a noise. Right, a DNA sample of the red virus. We need a sequencer. OK, we've sequenced it. Well, let's press download for yellow. What happens if we download it? I press in the button. You retrieve the immune data of the yellow queue. I take card 27. 27. What city are we in at the moment? Are we in Hong Kong? No, I thought Ooh. we were still in Essen. OK, well, I'm not sure you can see that on there, but we've got... Let's leave it over here. And I'll zoom out. Yeah, there we go. Antibodies, yellow variant. And then we've got a series of three-letter... Yes. Codes TGT, CCT, and CAG okay. immune response. Excellent. SYS001. Okay. Well, let's download let's the blue. Let's try one. blue. You retrieve the immune data, the blue card. Take card 28. 28. Oh, so wait, something's oh, happening. Oh, 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 anomaly. Anomaly. So we've got something. I'm just going to move this file to the side. We've got, we've got letters here as well C, G, T, A, triple A, and G, C, T. And it says SIS001 at the bottom as well. Mm. So we have the four different components, abbreviated, of DNA at the bottom. The four proteins, adenine, cytosine, guanine, thyme. I can't remember what they are called. Uh, it's a long I time since I did. no idea there, but there we go. long time since I did biochemistry. Um, okay. And then we've got a C dot and an OH button. 
And let me just try tapping this top of the screen here. I'll move it up here so you can see what I'm doing. So tapping here doesn't seem to be doing anything. I presume, can I tap here? Yeah, I can spell out a code, right? What is what's C? C is clear, I'm imagining. And then OH is presumably submit. Because who doesn't say, oh, it's OK. OK. It does look an H. <laughs> it does look look I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. So, oh, am I right? Oh. oh, I am. So we need to identify these three blobs on the DNA. So we have a picture of the DNA here. And it's asking us to identify the things on the tips of them. What does that mean? Are we trying to match the symbols? Okay, hang on. So we've got some different. We've got some sort of cross hatching going on here. We've got. Uh, there, we've got different designs along here, and we've got designs along here. On. Oh, that's true. So we're looking for the from the very small sample that we've got. It looks like we've got a pattern here of dots. It's quite hard to see on screen, but we've got dots and then stripes, stripes, dots, stripes, stripes, dots. So I'm thinking. This one isn't dots. That says it's an anomaly. anomaly. Does it say it says warning underneath? Anomaly warning. So we think it should be dots, which yes. is GTA on here. Is that right? No, that's the sort of checkerboard thing. It's this one. TGT. TGT. Do you think that's what we put in? Well, it says anomaly. So maybe that's exactly what we shouldn't put in. But let's find out. Oh, yeah, we filled it in. OK, great. And now we wanted horizontal stripes. Now we want... Oh, I was going to say a blank one. Which is C-A-G. Because we've got stripes, stripes, dots, blank. Stripes, stripes, oh, right. dots. OK, so, so blank one. So we want one. A, A, A. <laughs> Loving this. OK, what have we got there? We've got diagonal stripes, diagonal stripes, block. It's quite hard for you to see on oh, no, the screen, they... but you can see yeah, on the... Super low. So diagonal stripes, diagonal stripes. Do we think this is meant to be like a sort of palindrome? A reflection outwards? Oh, Ooh, but well, it's no, not there well, because I think the it's just two, I think it's diagonal stripes again, don't you? But there's a, if you look here, we've got an empty one and an empty one. So maybe that's where... Hmm. Where the sequence starts. But how can that work? Well, it could just be, if it's not a pan, it could just be a reflection around the centre. So it could just be diagonal stripes again. Maybe. Right? So try it's diagonal GCT, stripes. right? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure I fully understood that, but no. we got it right anyway. Let's take card 11 anyway. After handling a few times the red variance DNA, after handling a few times the red variance, that's almost like a son lyric. You managed to design a cure. Ooh. Your cure are designed to manage. Right, take card there it is. 11. There yeah, it is, and it says we can get rid of loads of cards. Oh I feel pretty good about this now. What does it say underneath? So the text says the cure for the red variant inoculation can begin. Hooray! Right. Now we've used, we've moved all our red dots, so we've got to find two you, cities. But first of all, shall we get rid of loads of cards? Yeah, four. So four, four is here. So that's our DNA sample okay. that we worked very hard to get. Sixteen, 16 is Hong Kong. 27 is antibodies and 28 is antibodies. 70, 70 was green. our sequencer. Yeah. Goodbye. And, and 94 is the research scientist manager who is not cured and hopefully getting better. Yeah. Returning back to. So now we need to put life. our red cities back between okay. Hong Kong and Delhi. And then we need to inoculate Kolkata because it's yeah. according to our inoculation protocol, it's the one between, right? Hey, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here we go. Um, put an iPhone, and then we put in the machine. What's the machine number? Oh no, I'm not putting the machine. I'm going to the dispatcher. We are. And I'm choosing, choosing Kolkata. Mm -hmm. Or whole hater, as it's called here. Yes, it, that is definitely confusing. I'm a whole hater. I am. That's what it looks like. Confirm. <laughs> Right, and then it wants to scan. The last time it, it had a little bit of a strop and refused to accept that I'd scanned the right one. So let's try again. Right, let's set the inoculator There button. we go. OK, there we go. So, while the three cures for the three disease variants have been inoculated, you learn that Graham Cook's condition is rapidly deteriorating despite being hospitalised. 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 Yeah, hospitalised sounds fun though. Does it? Yeah. Take I mean, card no, three. Not fun, I'm going to take card three. That's a good meantime. idea. Let's do that. Cook's condition is worsening. None of the cures seem to work. 
Right. There's a bar at the back that says it's relevant. So this is a red yeah, card. It is a red card. Do we have any... Blue cards. Blue so we have cards. that one. I can't believe... That was earlier, that thing where... um. It didn't work. The cure for the yellow variants. I think he's got multiple variants. So I see if there's a card 23. There isn't a card 23, so no. What if we match him with our scientist? She was a blue card, wasn't she? Oh, maybe she's got. he's got some maybe special merged got, variant. He's got a special thing. merged variant or something. Think? Yeah, 35. 35. They did say it was mutating. Oh, here we go. Patient Sample zero. Four. Patient zero. Patient zero. So... I guess we need to scan this with our... Put that under the microscope. Have we still got the microscope? Or did we discard it? No, we still got it. Still it's got the microscope. Not on the screen. Few. It's 88. Because so far, if in doubt, well, look at the microscope. 88. Right. Now, where is the sample here? There we here? go. So, we turn the microscope on. Here we go. Right. Diddly diddly. So, well, there we go. Ooh, purple. Oh, goodness. Well, well, there we go. There we go. Does it look like a number? That answers that. What is that meant to be? So we've got a purple sample. I Is that telling us to merge the red and blue samples? That doesn't make any logical sense, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Are we supposed to merge our red and like oh, I'm pointing off screen? Are we supposed to add together the values of the red and blue ones to get a purple? Have we still Does got that make any sense? those cures? Yeah, I think so. We've got so many cards. I mean, so, is there anything hidden in this picture? So we learned from these pictures that it is purple, right? Yeah. So maybe we're meant to make purple. This is obviously not how I would have thought the science would work. You can, can buy we, the red and blue ones. Can we mix red and blue? Does our blue... There we go. Our there blue are, vaccine. Yes. Mm. Let's hide that. So we've got 20 and 11 and 31, right? 31. Oh, no, wait, that's yellow. That's yellow. I, that's not blue. Oh. The ooh, card is blue. Oh, I was about to not... pull out card 31. Where oh. is our... Blue. Do we just... We can't Where's discard. our blue vaccine? Yeah, where is our blue vaccine? It's you right next to you. It's me, I've got it. You've got it. it right in front of you, you dopey. There we go. There it is. Okay. 79. 79, that's in your stack. Oh. Dopey. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. An instant karma there. Yes, it was instant karma. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there we go. We've mixed our blue and red. Ooh. Let's put it in a machine. Fins. No, it oh, is a it's machine. It's a machine, yeah. Doesn't it look like a machine to you? Mm. <laughs> a machine. That was a odd laugh. 79. Am I going to shake my phone? Yeah. Turn it upside down. Shake it all about. Do the hokey cokey. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that worked. After a click of the wrist, a you get a that was homogenous was purple mix. Oh, that's a good word. Take card 90. Take card 90, and that's in your stack. Oh, right, okay. Okay. And this is the card we got by combining 22 and the other one, 68, 68. before. We, yeah, quite a long the, the time ago. The game designers had not thought to combine the different numbers. There we go. Um, the cure for the purple variant. Yes. So we did know the purple variant was coming. That's amazing. That's how science works. Did you know that? Absolutely mad. Okay, uh, 90. So we need to cure him by... Shall we give him... Do we have a card 93? Yeah, we must do. Should right. we give it to him? That would be do, in your... Do. Last card in my stack, 93. Research scientist manager. Discard, before we go any further, discard 3 and whatever 35 is. What's 35. Oh, it's the... It's a sample. It's a sample, right. I feel like we get rid of people really quickly after <laughs> we've cured them. Cook is out of the woods. However, propagation of this new variant must be prevented at all costs. Begin inoculation as per the usual protocol. So we're looking for two cities infected with purple. Which I would guess is the only city linked between red and blue infected Ooh. cities. Because of how you mix paint colours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew it would come in handy one day. Right. Okay. So let's get Once all this again, out of the let's way. put our let's put the cubes dots back in the right where place. They yeah. There. So we've got what did we have? Khartoum mm -hmm. and London, and I'm just going to do Lima and Atlanta for fun. Right. So we're looking for our inoculation protocol. A city that's directly between a red and a blue. It must be Riyadh. It must be. So. I hope. Back on my <laughs> iPhone. 
and let's go to Riyadh. Here we go. I've got a good feeling. Okay, we want to scan oh, our got the card. vaccine. There we the go. Purple one, yeah. Oh, it is a cure. It is, it is a cure and not a vaccine. Great job, your responsiveness slowed down the spread of the purple variant. You are reaching, reaching your, your goal. goal. Oh, that doesn't Take say you're moments away from <laughs> yeah, your goal, which is really what I'd hope. Right, oh goodness, technical. Oh my goodness. All that's left to do is to establish a worldwide dissemination protocol for each cure. Oh goodness. We are counting on you. Discard all cards except this one, but also... You must contain the disease in the six infected cities, but in reverse order. Right, let's get, let's get rid of the, all these cards before and have a tidy desk and a tidy mind before we try and remember things okay. that we did a long time ago. Fine. So, in reverse order of... The one we did in last time. In it depends what it means, reverse order, because last time we did it in reverse order, didn't we? No. Last time we did... Ah, so it was blue, yellow, red, so it should be red, yellow... Blue and then the other ones, right? So it should be the one we didn't do in first in red, which is Hong Kong, yeah? Is it not? Because when we did it last time, we did six. So we did the first three. Yes. And then we did blue, yellow, red. So now it should be red, yellow, blue of the last three, yeah? Red, yellow, blue. And so it then should be Hong Kong. Should be Hong Kong and then Khartoum. No, no. yellow. Uh, it Lima. was Lima. Yeah. And, and then Khartoum. And then Khartoum. Then Delhi. Oh. Is it, but what did we do the first three in? I think we did Atlanta, London, Delhi. Okay, so then Delhi. Then London, then Atlanta. Yes. Well, well done, our memory wow. challenge. Wow. Our team's okay. managed to slow down the spread, you gain time. I mean, it's all a bit much of a muchness at this point. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. So. Yes, the time is slightly Here we are. Okay. All that's left to do is to establish a worldwide dissemination protocol for each cure. We are counting on you. Discard all cards except this one. Well, the first thing I would say is that it appears to be showing outlines of cards. And it says we are counting, which makes me think we need to take count the things that are yellow in some way. Perhaps cards? Count cards that are blue and count cards that are red. And a counterpoint I would have to that is that this is a machine... Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. So. <laughs> let's do that. 37. Okay. Well, okay. Let's, take that. let's have a look at that. Now take the game components from the bottom of the box. They will be useful in determining the protocol for each of the consonants. Okay. The game components from the bottom of the box. How exciting. Shall I zoom out yeah, here? Yeah, good idea. I've learned how to use the zoom out button now. Oh, maybe we were zoomed out. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we were. It's just a really big box. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. And lock. Let's not put this here. All right. Well, that's all that's in the bottom of the box. Is there anything I think we're going to be playing Tangrounds. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take the game components from the bottom of the box. They'll be useful in determining the protocol for each of the continents. Hmm. Okay. Right, right now, I feel a bit incontinent. That's not really a nice joke, is it? it mm, Never mind. Not for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Um, okay. I Can I pop these out? I really want to. So the blue variant has a scanner picture in the middle. Um, I don't know if we need this. It's just for fun. A comment I would make is that these look a lot like these sorts of shapes. Oh, let's... Oh, so sorry. first of all, let's have a finish looking at this picture of the iPhone. And it has a scanner for the blue variants, but they're faded out for the others, which makes me think I need to scan blue first, perhaps. Do any of these buttons on here do anything? What about the stuff at the bottom of the screen? Oh, I can type numbers in. Oh, I can put... OK, so I can type the numbers into each thing, so the, the colours of the screens are relevant, and I can cancel. So I'm looking for a three-digit number. OK. Right. So I've, um, without any permission whatsoever, started uh, playing a jigsaw game it's here. It's not tangrams after all. It's not, but I am having a great time. Um, so that one is obviously not correct, but that one is these correct. do seem to fit pretty nicely. Now, aha, there's more than one. There's a square here, for example. So I think we're doing one lot what? of placements per, per city, per variant. I would That's say. That's what I mean. Yeah. Fun. 
fun. Well, let's start with the yellow. Shapes is fun. Start with that. And presumably it gets easier the more pieces that you place. As long as you didn't mess up on the first one. As long as you didn't mess up on the first one. Why am I struggling with that? I don't know. Why are you struggling? I don't know why I'm struggling. Maybe it doesn't go there. Maybe they don't all fit in every city. Maybe they don't all fit. I mean, it looks well, that, very that much looks like, like it should fit there, I know it though. does, but it does... Um, when you turned uh, it over. But that's upside down compared to the others. Does it matter? It matters to me. No, but it doesn't matter. Well, that's why it's green on both sides. Five. So I will just briefly go back to the app. And I, well, that's Actually, that's the only one with the th sort of rotation. Five. That's the only one where it matters, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so now we need to do okay. the blues. All right. Well... Let's start with my square. Well, this is very pleasing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if only it could all have been like this. Yes. Is my review. For us. I want to say it's going to be a two. I want to say that. Yeah, it's that. clearly a two. Oh, yeah. Then you're going to say I was wrong, even though I was clearly correct. No, no, no. I was going to see if it mattered which way it goes up. I mean, it does. Why, though? Why is that upside down? Frustrating. Anyway. If, I tell you what, if none of them are the other way up, because you, know, you can see, but it's chamfered, it's curved and slightly down. If none of them are the other way up, then I agree. Why did they print it that way? Mm. But if the last one is, then... That is I, evidently a two, anyway. Yeah, two. This is fun. Right, okay. So, let's do the reds now, yeah? Yeah, so we can see everything there. Okay, I'm going to do the square. That's my favourite. This way up is this go. This is the question, Laura. There is no square. Is there no square? Oh, there, there's no square! And there's no parallelogram. Most intriguing. Oh, there is a square. <laughs> Where? There. Maybe there is a parallelogram then. I'll take it back. Mary? The, Mary? There's, there's a, a parallelogram. parallelogram. <laughs> and do you know what? All the parallelograms are upside, upside down. down relative to where you push them out. Confusing. Yeah, because it's on the opposite. It's on the side where the black is, not mm. the side of the unlock. Yeah, it's neither here nor neither there. Neither here nor there. But it is a bit of a weird choice from the graphic designer. Um, that doesn't go there. Why is this one hard? Are we just being dumb? <laughs> yeah, probably. I feel like it's going to be... Th I think it's a big one. There? It's going to be an eight. Is that all of the bits? That is all of the bits. Oh, right, okay. So I mean, then... it is an eight. Yeah, let's not agonise over it. Yeah, sure. It uh, does sort of explain why EG Mexico City is in the middle of the sea. I wondered uh, why they were all placed. It does, if you look actually very closely, there are tiny little lines that point to the actual location of the cities, but they are really hard to see on camera and in real life. So oh, wow. I, never I know, I only just clocked it now. Eight. Eight. Okay. <gasps> what is this? Right. Like? You managed to set up your QA dissemination protocol successfully. Thanks to your team skills, the pandemic is totally under control. After a few weeks, the disease is eradicated. You saved humanity. Great job. Hooray! Well done. Well, I mean, given that it only took us two hours or so to save humanity, I think we did a great job I there. mean, so that's not the actual time we took because we did go for a break. And we did have a long tea break. Pause it. Evidence of tea break incoming. So I reckon it took us about two hours, really. Do you think? Yeah. It's quite a long wow. time. Maybe a bit less. I think I just struggled to remember how many cards we had and so i sort of lost the thread of the story a little bit so what did you think of that game then well once again i spoke too soon at the beginning i thought <laughs> uh, i thought we did really we well started off quite in well. the first 20 minutes or so i think that we made life a bit difficult for ourselves by not spreading all of the cards out around us all the time because i think i personally lost the thread of the story a little bit sort of ran the middle section by spreading the cards out you mean because we could only fit so many on camera so, we've got many, so cards. many cards that we've got all at the time there's there were like 20 or more yeah and i feel like obviously part of the skill is remembering what what, what you've cards got you've got, got looking around what you've yeah. used and who you've seen and so i think that's where i found it difficult yeah it did say this was a three difficulty rating i think memory skills is obviously one of them so i enjoyed it i enjoyed the story it was really tough mm -hmm. much tougher than i expected I think that, um, as you say, when I've played these on my own, well, or with other people, but in the past, I've laid out all the cards across mm. the table, and it does make it easier because you can you're continually reminded of what you've got and you haven't and you've still got available to use. Yeah. So a couple of times when we got st stuck, it's because we hadn't looked to use a card we'd had for ages. Yeah. Um, Which is fair enough, I think. Uh, and the game, because the game is so non-linear, mm. you are not. Well, it's linear in Linux to some degree, but there's a lot of stuff where you can do things now, or you can do them later. Yeah. 
And if you don't do them now, then it's hard to know that you should go back and do it later. That's true. That's true. I did enjoy... I always enjoy the machines. I thought the machines fun. were fun. Once we figured out how to use them, what we were, once we had all the things that were meant to be scanning and sequencing, then I do like that aspect of these games, I think, being able to use different bits of the technology. Yeah, I think, I think, all, works. I think all the puzzles were fair. I think yes. they were all gettable. Yeah. I think doing all of that in 70 minutes is... It's a lot, isn't it? It is a lot. I mean, we, we must have lost half an hour to chit chat and explain this stuff. Yeah. And there's only two of us. Still, yeah. So maybe you you could you could definitely do it in the time if there were a few of you and you're all concentrating and you're paying attention. Yeah. Plus you can simultaneously try stuff as well, because obviously you just try one thing at a time, but there's multiple people. That's true. And you're trying you know, you're looking for different cards and so forth. And also I was just gonna say we only took two penalties. I'm just looking at the um the final there you go, the final tally. Mm, Whereas in the, pre the previous game that we did, which was ticket, ticket to Ride, we had about seven or eight penalties by the time we got to the end of it, which was um, our fault. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there we go. I think we're both a bit exhausted now after solving yeah, it for so wow. long. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you stuck along for the entire journey, then thank you very much. We really do appreciate it. And we hope you enjoyed it yeah, as much well as we done. did. <laughs> or better. <laughs> yeah, and um, so anyway, do feel free to let us know in the comments what you thought about our solve, what you thought about the game, whether you got some stuff that we were stuck on long in advance. Mm -hmm. I know it's quite hard because you can't see all the cards. I mean, neither could we, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you can't use yeah. the app as well, so it's quite restrictive in that yeah, respect. Yeah, that's true. But, but we, um, we did get some helpful comments last time of pointing yes. out things that we missed, so we do appreciate it. And unfortunately, we're not perfect solvers. So yeah. <laughs> and just let us know that you are watching. We'd just like to read that and stuff anyway, we do, don't we? Yeah. Um, so why not, if you haven't already, somewhere down here, there should be a subscribe. If you're on the YouTube website, there should be a subscribe button or in the app. You should be able to subscribe to our channel and make it easier to find future videos. Um, but until the next one of those, I guess all that remains is for me to say goodbye. Goodbye. And for me to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>